right, so Dave, you know how to use Snapchat now a little better than you did before. What are your predictions? Are South African brands going to get it on Snapchat? Is this going to be the next Instagram? Thanks, Jen. Yes, South African brands are getting onto it. It's mainly much younger oriented mm. brands and a lot of cool startups. So they are going to. Um, my prediction is that we're going to see more marketers stuck on their phones rather than their desktops than ever before yeah. because currently this is the only way that we have to create media. We can't pre-package and produce it and upload it. Which is scary. Which is kind of scary. It's so we, scary. It's a little scary. We've got to be stuck on our phones more. So we're going to see more marketers doing this, definitely. So it's going to be much more real-time content, which is great. Um, and then a second prediction following that is marketers are going to be looking for ways that mean that they don't have to be stuck on their phone. So premium Snapchat offering for brands are going to be things like um, uh, overlays and stickers that only activate when you're in their premises. That kind of thing, the kind of stuff, the real-time attention that Snapchat does well. So McDonald's, uh, for example, has got the, uh, stickers that only come up when you're in store with them. So we're going to see those things rolling out in South Africa in the next year. Now I have to ask you about Discover. Discover isn't open for South African brands. I mean, there's only big brands on there. I think yeah. CNN, MTV, Food Network. So Discover, you have to pay to be in yes. there. Yeah, correct. So um, Snapchat has launched an agency called Truffle Pig. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to help companies produce professional content. And this is going to and kind of how to tell better stories on Snapchat. But for now, South African brands are on the same level footing as their users. But that's not a bad thing, it's hey? It's not a bad place to be. So I've got a question for you. Okay. How do you grow a following on Snapchat? Okay, I'm still trying to figure this out. But the first one is to share your username and your little ghost, ghost face chilla on your different social medias. So I found uh, it pretty cool. You can take a screen grab of your ghost face chilla, put it on Instagram, you can share it on Twitter, and then people just need to take a photo of it. Cool, nice. Or you just put your username there, and that way you're following on those networks, then come over to Snapchat. To get um, an idea of what you should be uh, Snapchatting, I follow influencers, celebrities, bloggers to see what I like, what they're doing. Because the content's quite unique on exactly. Snapchat. Exactly. And they're all sharing behind the scenes. I mean, the celebrities are sharing things that you would never see on their Instagram or in their polished uh, pieces of work, but you get to see behind the scenes, maybe get to take a look at them getting their makeup done, things they wouldn't share elsewhere. So. That's quite cool. And then offer prizes, offer an incentive for people to follow you on Snapchat. Maybe even take up that voucher, um, the voucher thing you were talking about with the ice cream and you can have a voucher on Snapchat. So yeah, I think, I think it's exciting times to come. That is, it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Dave, thank you for joining me and learning about Snapchat with me. If anyone needs your expert uh, opinion on any social media uh, query, how can they get hold of you? They can add me on Snapchat, Dave, hyphen duarty <laughs> and that's it all like stuff my ghost face chiller <laughs>